I'm Sam. And I'm Greg. We're, We're human, human beings. beings. And, and we, we like, like movies. movies. We'll be doing reviews of brand new releases. Old classics. Entire sagas. And even TV shows and video games. This, this is Reaction Time. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the 24th episode of Reaction Time Podcast. You know what we should have done? What? We should have re- we should have freaking recorded 24. Like, come on. Oh, the show? The show, yeah. I would love, we dude, I would love to review that show. <laughs> I don't know where you can watch it, but it's uh, so I good. I think Amazon? Oh, for, for like free? Prime? I That'd think be it, dope. It, okay, gonna, before Prime was free, but... I'm going to look into it. I don't know if it is now. I'm going to look into it because I love 20, 20, 27. 27. 24. I was looking at the 127 hours. <laughs> 24 is good. Okay. Okay. Can I paint a picture for you? Paint the picture, please. Okay. So I grew up in a household that was not allowed to watch rated R movies. Okay. Okay. At 15, I started getting more like kind of dating my wife and stuff like that in high school. Okay. So her family was a little more lenient on the like rated R movies and stuff like that. Okay. So I'd never seen one growing up. And I even think when I was like six or seven, I was at a friend's house and I'm pretty sure they're watching like Gladiator or something. That was like the only one I was allowed to watch. And I called my mom and I was like, I don't know if I should be watching <laughs> Well, I mean, if you're six years old, yeah, yeah okay. probably. Yeah, right, right. You're probably yeah. in the right there, so, yeah. Yeah, uh, so then, anyways, totally side story. So, <laughs> I I don't know if I saw any when I was over at Lindsay's parents' house, right? But we both turned 17 because our birthdays are a month apart. And I think this movie came out in August. And so, the movie we we're talking about is 127 Hours, in case anybody is wondering, because everybody should be. Um, yeah, if you didn't yeah, read the title didn't. of the movie, podcast you're like well, i don't know what's happening <laughs> um so we went and saw it so this movie was kind of like a good date and my first like official rated r movie that i at least saw in theaters you became a man that day i became then. a man wow. that day <laughs> wow first chest so, hair and everything yeah. right in the movie theaters <laughs> right right as happened it's just ding, little hair came out <laughs> right in the middle so <clears throat> this movie has a lot of memories for me. Yeah, that and makes I, sense. And I I can't quite decide if it is my all-time favorite. Okay. But it is in my top three. Okay. And it might be my all-time. I have some that kind of bounce back and forth. Gotcha. But it has the most memories for me. So I think it's probably my Which all-time. I think is usually a, a big factor of a favorite movie. Yes. For people. So today we're going to be talking about 127 Hours. And you love this movie. I love this That's movie. That's great. What would you give it out of 10? 10 out of 10. Nice. Not even a... Nice. Probably 11 out of 10. <laughs> That's if I'm lot. allowed to do that, I will do that. <laughs> okay, fair. Okay. Okay. As you all know, <laughs> me and Sam don't talk about this Not before we podcast. We just walk up to each other at work and just give each other a look like... <laughs> We are both thinking about the movie, but neither of us are saying anything about it. So, Sam, what would be your out of 10? So, I was thinking about this movie a little <laughs> bit, and it's tough because I read that the the guy who it's actually about said that this movie is as close as you can get to a documentary yeah, it, it is, yeah. without it being one. That didn't stop me from hating the movie. Okay. <laughs> so... If I'm being completely honest, I can't even give it a 4, so I'll give it a 3.9 out of 10. Really? It was so bad. (laughs) I hated it. And I wish I was joking, and I don't want to hurt your feelings because you love this movie so much, but I hated it so much. Okay, well, tell me why. (laughs) Okay, where, where do I begin? I get that the whole movie is just him hallucinating over and over again. Yeah. But it just, like, was... It wasn't oh, it wasn't very good. So the, the music was absolutely horrible. Oh. It's like a terrible terrible Oh, you, oh my gosh, music I love choice. this soundtrack. Horrific. There's no intensity, there's no n- there's nothing. It's, really? Yeah. Oh, it's just that like one song guitar over and over again. Oh, it's oof, horrible. Man. See, that gets me so freaking I stressed out. I personally don't even like James Franco, so I think that might be a little bit of a factor. I don't either, but I also think he did incredible in this movie. He did fine okay the rest of the actors were no good so the two girls he runs into (laughs) horrible 
the shot choices for me personally were horrible. Really? Yeah, like cinematography was bad because sometimes okay. I was like, oh, this looks like it's like found footage, but it's not from his camcorder. There are camcorder uh -huh. shots which I'm, that I'm right, fine right. with, but there are other ones that are supposed to look like found footage right. that are just from a normal camera. Right. And then they decided that they really, really needed to go the Ron Howard Grinch way and do some tilty shots because tilting <laughs> cameras is fun in 2010. So and really the reason why you didn't like it is because it was close to the Grinch. Maybe. It's all the Grinch And the fault. last thing, and it doesn't necessarily have anything to do with the movie as much as it does with the story. The more I looked into it, the less exciting the story got. Okay. I get that it's like, crazy, this guy freaking chopped his arm off. Yeah. I was like, he's not a very good person. Yeah. He chopped his arm off because, not, not for any like crazy moral reasons. He wasn't like, life has to go on. He was going crazy and chopped his arm off. Yeah. Basically. I mean, it was his only option. It was that or die. Yeah. But still, it wasn't like, he's not some hero. He saw his kid. I kind of thought he had a kid. Man, you missed that. I thought that was him. No. No. Oh, okay. Well, okay. So explain that to me. Then. <laughs> so I was like, why is, is this kind of an, is this, are we doing a spoiler for you? No, <laughs> this is, a, it's a real story. There's, this is going to be full spoilers. <laughs> Guess what, guys? Some guy 20 years ago got his arm trapped between a rock and a hard place, and he's Which is a great it off. book name, by the it way. It is a great book name. It is a great book name. So he starts going insane, mm -hmm. and then he sees his whole family, right? And they're sitting on the couch, and he's like, what does he say? You look like the the uh, people in the wall gang or something like that. I can't remember, yeah, like in yeah. the rock gang or something like that. And then it goes away, and there's just that kid. And then you see him playing with the kid. I thought that was him playing with his younger son. No. I was like, what's the point? Because at the end it said his premonition came true and he met I his... was wondering what premonition they were yeah, talking about. Yeah, so it's his, it's his son. So he sees his son. But it's a future son. It's a future son. Okay. So he has a premonition of his future son. Okay. That's what gives him the urge to fully cut off his arm. Gotcha. Because he wanted to have that vision that he saw. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The last thing, and <laughs> even if it's accurate, I still don't like it. Okay. <laughs> There was no, like, hardly any semblance of pain in his face. His arm gets trapped behind the, between the rock. He's like, dang it. And then the entire movie's like, man, I got to get my arm out of here. And at the end, he's like, okay, I'll chop it off. And every once in a while, he's like, oh, I poked a nerve. It hurts. But there was no screaming. Oh, or, he screams. He, he just, screams you help later. Well, you know, you don't hear him. He's... He does the little visual and he's like screaming, but it doesn't actually have well, him wasn't that screaming. Him hallucinating? I don't know. No, no, no. That was him when he's cutting. And then we'll talk about it when we get to okay. visuals. But <laughs> basically, here's the thing. I have waited many years to watch this movie. So and I thought it was gonna be like it. I thought it was gonna be so cool. Yeah. And it feels like a movie that could be awesome if it was maybe dramatized a little bit better. Okay. Because if you're gonna make a movie about it and not a documentary, I'd like it to feel more like a movie and less like James Franco went into the canyon with a okay. camcorder and pretended to be this guy. Uh -huh. It just didn't it didn't didn't work for me. Okay. So that's what it was. <laughs> And he's a little pervy, you know? So on top of that, I'm just like, this guy sucks. So, yeah. So I really thought this was going to be... Okay. So I I had hyped it up in my own mind, too, and it didn't cut it for Dude, me. Dude, this is Cloverfield all over again. This might... You're overhyping yourself. I think I like this less than Cloverfield. It's an overhypatization. Yes. Cloverfield, I had some fun experiences. Yeah. This one, I had no fun experiences. Really? There was n were no scenes where I was like, whoa, cool. No, oh, man. Okay. You know, Cloverfield That's... had the guys, when when they, they he, he pans over and there's the military comes around and just like shooting bazookas at this mob. <laughs> Monster. This had none of that. He drank his pee once, and it was bad. And that was the most exciting part of the movie. So, hey, yeah, you didn't like when he cut off his arm? It was good, but it still was like I knew that was gonna happen, and it didn't feel intense. It was just like, okay, I'm gonna do it now. And then he cut his arm off, and then he and then he got it out of there, and then he spilled water all over himself. <laughs> Maybe, a, <laughs> you know, maybe I'm a little, I'm being a little maybe too harsh it's on this. And I know this has a really good Rotten Tomato score and I know a lot of people like this. Yeah. Not for me. That's okay. That's fine. We're going to watch Unbroken and then I'll tell you, and then I'll show you because that's the kind of movie I thought it was going to be. Okay. So we'll have to add that to our list. If yeah, I haven't seen already, it yet. So. Um, yeah. Okay. Here's a problem. So, I'm sorry you just for hurting your with Jesse. I know. I told Jesse that in the circle this morning. I, I, I like you. leaned over to him and I was like, don't tell Greg, but I agree with you. <laughs> so Can't agree with Jesse. Come on. I know. You have to like it just because he doesn't like it. Yeah. Yeah. 10 out of 10. 10 this out of 10. The no. best movie I've ever seen. <laughs> Revenge of the Sith can suck it. <laughs> 
<laughs> new movie I'm going to watch for my birthday for my every birthday. year. 127 <laughs> hours. Which, by the way, it's a funny title because that's how long this movie felt <laughs> while I was watching it. <laughs> but uh, so yeah, I don't know where I fall. I have never talked to anybody else about this movie before. Okay, well, it, obviously it's literally the only time you've seen Jesse. it. No, but I haven't talked to anybody else who's seen it. Like nobody's ever talked. I guess nobody's ever talked to me it's, about this movie. Well, it's otherwise. a limited release. It wasn't super popular. But I had he- I've heard of it. Like, well, yeah, you heard of it, but you heard of it because of the story. Out. Yeah. But the actual movie didn't release in a lot of places. Right. I just don't know where I fall in terms of the general population. Like, of people who have seen this, I don't know if I'm, like, way on the Haiti side or if I'm kind of in the middle I don't of, know. Because I don't know. know a lot of people that have seen it. Yeah. Yeah. So, and the no people idea. that have are family or my wife or... Or Jesse. Or Jesse or... <laughs> I think, like, maybe yeah. Sterling and Thay might have seen it. I can't okay. remember. Yeah. But I think they liked it. I'm not speaking for them, though. Well, we'll have to try to take a poll of people who like this movie okay. or not. But- I- I don't know. I'll how. put it on YouTube. I usually get four votes. I'm gonna put it on my personal Instagram. I usually get have four votes on YouTube. So four votes is saying lots of votes. <laughs> yeah, I'll put it on my personal Instagram, and we'll take a poll and see if people like this. And the people will speak, and you'll feel dumb. I just thought this guy was gonna be a hero, and he's not. I don't know how you'd be a hero for yourself. Well, yeah. I just thought it'd be more inspiring. I think, and it's not inspiring. Oh, really? Are you inspired by it? Yeah. Oh, cool. Okay. Well, I'd love to hear why. <laughs> Well, th- I mean, not him, obviously. You don't. You, the story is the cool, but it doesn't feel inspiring. Really? I get it the one thing, I guess, when he sees his kid. But well, no, he, but it doesn't show you what we can do as human beings. No, that's cool. How's that not inspiring? He got down to the, like, he wasn't going to survive anymore. Yeah. And he did what he needed to do so, to survive. Oh, I know. It's cool and all. And he literally, dude, but then he, he breaks left, his bones. And then he left and got arrested for beating his wife, okay, dude. Again, Are we're you not talking me? about the person I we're know, talking I about the movie i didn't like the movie and then afterwards i read about it I and know. i liked it less after i found out what kind of person he was and maybe he's better now do you like mission impossible movies i love Mission. okay impossible. tom cruise is a horrible person is he worse than this guy though yes <laughs> Yeah, but Tom Cruise does exciting things. This guy just climbs. You still his, want to see the Flash just, with just freaking looks Ezra like Miller? Captain Hook. I know, but <laughs> come on, it looks awesome. This guy didn't even act in the movie. It's just based off I of him. No, oh, but I hate almost everything James Franco's been in, also except for Spider Man. Yeah, you know, everything Spider-Man else one I've and seen two. him in is just like no, he's not my. I really don't like him. Right. Yeah, but I, I don't, I don't think know. he's I bad. Though. I just don't really, think I like really, him as a person. And I no. usually try to separate art from people, right? Because it's I don't. Think it's crazy because I thought much. he did so good in this movie. Just him seeming crazy and yeah, no, he him hallucinating and that moment where the the rainstorm comes in yeah. and he you know fakes getting out of the rock and goes to yeah. see his old girlfriend and then it's just it pans back to where he's at and he's just crying and saying please like that part is so yeah, good he had good scenes yeah the he whole... wasn't bad i so weird that he just he's just kind of mean no, see i thought he thought it was great the whole movie mm, this is okay really, hey really man interesting. i we think have this is the first have, time we've had like a we've super this, diverse yeah yeah that we've been this has even everything ever all at once like i didn't like some things but i did but you like... still recognize how good it was you and i yeah. are on polar opposites yeah. basically of this movie you don't like it but you also don't recognize how cool this movie is so sam you just you're not a movie I'm, critic i'm wrong yeah you're wrong i'm wrong <laughs> that is true you know what star wars is a two out of ten hey <laughs> back off <laughs> it's my child oh uh, my goodness. this is my first rated r movie yeah. how could you <laughs> i don't want to crap on it too hard no but... dude do whatever you, it's your life it sucked <laughs> it's your life and you suck you like it <laughs> You want to give it a 3.9 out of 10? 3.9. You can do that. I'm just, we'll never podcast with you again, but you can. Are you kidding me right now? (laughs) Okay, let's jump into the categories. I'm curious about a lot of things. I don't have a lot of notes, so I'm assuming most of this will be you talking. So well, guys, I kind of want you to talk if you're going to be so uh, opposite of it. Okay. Um, can I? I'll, how about I just kick it off with my? Th- I have three please, notes for please. the visuals. Okay. I'll just kick it off. Yeah. So first of all, the intro to the movie was so weird, I almost turned it off. Really? It was just horrible. Bad music. Bad choices of like. I love that song. How busy it is and all this. I hate it. Oh, okay. I don't understand what it was for. It's just people walking around. Yeah. 
I don't know. I thought it was cool. The three screens and everything with the song. Fine. Whatever. I guess maybe it's what it's saying. It's just there's a lot of people, but he was by himself. He'd taken them away from all of basically everybody and was alone. Yeah. Okay. And then I already talked about this, but the shot choices were just so random and weird. I didn't get the point of most of them. So what was... Because like him, like one of the times when it does like a side shot of him falling and the he like creates the formation as it's falling down, I thought was really cool. No, that's fine. I'm not saying all the shot choices okay. were weird. I'm just saying a lot of the stylistic ones felt really out of place for what type of movie this is. Okay. So the tilted camera, the going through like the camelback was fine. Oh, so I thought that was cool. Just, it felt really corny. Okay. I guess. Um, and then just a lot of the dreamy sequences, the hallucinations were like a little goofy, but. <laughs> I don't know. And then my last thing, Scooby Doo, man. When the when the fake storm comes, <laughs> yeah, some of the worst CGI I've seen in a long time. Right when the clouds are coming over, I was like, oh yeah, yikes, that yeah. is so <laughs> bad. Like they did that. I don't know in a, some free app. Uh huh. That was all I had. I think it visuals. had a really low budget. I, I would assume so. Yeah. The uh, the arm looked good when he was chopping it off. It that looked, looked really great. good. I'll give it points for that. Yeah. But everything else was me. Okay. So him falling, I thought looked really good. Yeah, him falling looked good. Yeah. All of the no- all of the normal stuff, I guess, like stuff that actually happened and mm-hmm. wasn't stylistic looked totally fine. Okay. But it was just like the stylistic stuff that bugged me and whatnot. So it's in a similar category as The Grinch mm-hmm. as far as that kind of stuff goes because it felt like it... Sh- it just felt like it should have had more of a serious tone as opposed to like a, ooh, we're so cool with our cameras, yada, mm-hmm, yada, mm-hmm. yada. Like it just felt out of place, I think. Right. So those shot choices would have been maybe fine in a movie that's more fun and lighthearted about somebody hiking or whatever. Right. But the fact that he's in a life Altering or yeah. threatening situation felt. Not sure a if it became life altering, but uh, life threatening. I mean, no arm. <laughs> I guess that's life altering. It's pretty life altering. I guess him afterwards, I don't know how much life changing it was for him because not enough to be nice to people. Well, yeah. I <laughs> mean, um, okay, so I gotta try not to go like way too hard on this. No, movie. dude, dude, it's fine. I have to calm down. We have to have diversity. Think in this. about what my actual score is. Usually, we you know agree on a lot of stuff. So. Can I give it anything more than a hundred? Wow, really? That bad? That bad? Yeah, man, I'll give it a 102 <laughs> because of how good the arm looked and because of how good the falling looked. Yep. Everything else I mostly hated. That's so weird. I, I'm curious, like, so. what scenes. And we should have watched it was, together. I know, we should have. talked about it. Yeah. Just been like, I'll look over at you every five seconds. I hated that. <laughs> and just move on, you know? What's the point of this? I hated this. I hated this. I hated everything about this. <laughs> Uh, okay. Um, Give me your visuals notes. Visual Let's notes. Talk about it. Okay. So I thought maybe I should have had you go first, so maybe you could change my mind. That's fine. If I change your mind, great. If not, that's okay. Um. So I guess for me, I've seen this a lot of times. Mm-hmm. So I noticed a lot of like foreshadowing that you probably didn't because you haven't seen a bunch Absolutely. of times. Absolutely, there's stuff. But like the that- Swiss Army knife right at the beginning. Like I noticed that wrenching. later. Yeah. Yeah, I noticed that later when he's like, I couldn't find my Swiss Army knife. Yeah. And I was like, oh, it was back there. Yeah. Not that that would have done 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 him any, any good. It could have. What do you it, think it could have done? Well, he wouldn't have, one, had a dull knife to that, cut his arm off. That's fair, actually. And I don't know if anything could have helped break, maybe. Break the rock or whatever. Yeah. yeah I mean, he fair. talks about chipping it away and it probably just sealing his arm more in there. Yeah. Um. The So the first time he drinks water, the camelback, I know, I remembered him drink seeing the pee coming up yeah. and like wanting to die seeing that coming up when yeah, he had to gross. drink it. So when he drinks the water the first time, I'm like It gave you like a little Oh crap, it's reaction. coming. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Um, this is, I think, the best, sh- like, showing of a title in any movie. When he falls and his arm gets stuck and it just says 127 oh, hours. that was good. It was cool. Yeah, that yeah. was good. I was like, that's perfect placement. Um, the, the, um, when he drops the knife, I love the stick mm-hmm. and him trying to grab it. Yeah. It's sad, but also hilarious. <laughs> I, yeah, it is. Because you just see it go down and then you see it when he's broken it and mm-hmm. it's up and a little it, bit. I was like, <laughs> yeah. That was funny. Um, I love, see, I love like the insects in this movie for some reason. They're just everywhere. But like, they're, it, yeah, but it's not a ton of them, but they're no, all no, over no, the but place. But they're just yeah. all over the place. Like him, like trying to like wipe off an ant and it like won't come off. And like, the one at the end bit his face like a few times. Yeah. Was that real? Yeah. Yeah. He's got like did, ants but, on him. <laughs> did James Franco just let it in? Yeah. And bite his real face. <laughs> I don't know if he let it that was bite a big it. Ant. Yeah. But no, it's on there. Like when he's no, trying to I hit know, it off. 
it, I was like, that's not a CGI ant. <laughs> no. That's an ant biting his face. Yeah. Hmm. Anyways. Method. Um, I thought his lips looked really cool throughout the movie. Them just getting just more getting dry right, and discolored yeah. and everything like that. Um, drinking the pee, which is horrible. Um, I love the, when it pans into one of the backstories and it's the brother, well, it's him and his sister playing on the piano. Yeah. And he's kind of like, he had felt the rock and his hand had moved with the rock and then the rock turned into the rocks in the house. Mm -hmm. I thought that was cool. That, that was little cool. transition was cool. Um, I thought him turning into the sand in that one scene was really cool. And that well was done. cool. I'm going to yeah. give it one extra point for that. <laughs> We're going up to 103. I'm changing it right 103. Now. Nice. I forgot about that. Him when he face plants into the water after he cuts yeah. his arm off. Just great. And that water, not good. Gross. Disgusting. Yeah, disgusting. <laughs> and then cutting the nerve. Mm. I did a few look aways during that scene where I was like, <laughs> I'm going to hold it as long as I can. Like, Ugh. it's, it's bad. Back. Yeah. They don't shun away from anything no. in that. And that's so like, a lot of like, it felt a lot like the inside of a McDonald's chicken nugget. <laughs> just like <laughs> lots of strings and stuff that you didn't think were He's in there. He's just like, he, he, for some reason, I thought he cut it off, but he didn't. He ripped it off. Well, yeah, he like cut the majority. Knife. Yeah, no, and it's a dull knife, so yeah, it's so like that doesn't even count as cutting. No, it just was prying. He it just disgusting. pried it off, basically. Can I tell you a weird side note? Yes. So I'd heard of this story basically my whole life of this guy who got his arm trapped, yeah. trapped in the rock and cut it off. For some reason, I couldn't remember if it was a spoon or a pocket knife. Oh, really? So I was like, man, did this guy only have a spoon? So I was waiting to see. I was like, did he cut his arm off with a spoon? And how long did that take? But did you read on how long it took? No, I did it not. It took him an actual hour to cut his arm off. That's a bad hour, dude. That's a horrible hour. But then he was found only four hours later. Yeah. Not too bad. Because his family had already called search and rescue. So they are already out looking for him. Uh, so when the people find him and they call, they basically, they were already, already out. There. So they came and flew over, which is also really cool. Yeah. I'm just glad it wasn't a spoon. And, or or and a, on that note, a plastic spoon. Can that, you imagine if it was a plastic spoon? Or, well, or if anything, spork? the plastic spoon might have been better because you could break it and have like a sharp edge. Touche. Yeah, who knows? Yeah, you're right, actually. Yeah. Anyways, here's so, the spoons. Here's the spoons. <laughs> So T-shirt idea. Here's the spoons. Here's the spoons. <laughs> so originally when I was thinking about it, and I was like, you know, would I give this a thousand or a thousand? And I watched it again. I'm like, okay, no, there's some things I can be nitpicky about. Yeah. So obviously the storm didn't look great. Mm -hmm. The His arm, when he's swimming in the pool and he comes up and he has the arm cut off, that looked a little iffy. Yeah, it looked like a fake chicken. F yeah, something. just CGI, yeah. not great. Yeah. Um, when he, they first pan out, which I think is really cool when he's screaming and it pans out and you just less and less his yeah. screaming. Yeah. But him standing there looking up looked like a green screen for sure that he was on. Um so I'm gonna give it a 195. Okay. Yeesh. Because okay. I love all the shots in this movie. <laughs> okay. That's, that's fair. That's your prerogative, man. That's great. I think the arm cutting off scene is beautifully done. I just wish the music was better. In that I scene. said it's so crazy that you didn't like it because that's my favorite part of this movie. Weird. That music is just so intense. And then when he's touching the nerve and it's got that like yeah. pitch yeah, noise, like, true. oh, see, that's so weird. I thought, I thought if anything, that's what I would like. You would like the music. Oh, no. So that's kind of funny. The music's going to get oh, such a bad score <laughs> for me. Because that song and then the. The one that plays when he's seeing his son, the If I Rise, uh -huh. those are both original songs for the movie. Gotcha. So. Okay. <laughs> Is that everything you got for visuals? That's everything I got for visuals. All right, let's move on to the story. Okay. Story's tough okay. because it's a true story. Right. So I don't know where to go with this. Okay. Because the fact that the guy said it's basically 100% factually accurate, how do I not give it 200? Right. You know? Yeah. And my only complaints would be something that would fall more in the visuals right. side of things. But do I rate the, like, can you rate a factual story out of 200 and just be like, I don't like this story. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah. The more I, mean, I think about it, I'm like, I don't It's freaking... kind of your opinion, I guess. Yeah, but it feels so weird to say, like, the guy cuts his arm off in a canyon, four out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> no good. Give me something better. Get that crap away from me. I guess what— So, I don't when know. You, weren't, you didn't weren't engaged, though. I wasn't. So weird. I want to I wanna see this movie from yours and 
because Jesse talks crap on it too. Yeah. I want to see it from your point of view because I'm just the polar opposite. And even when I saw it the first time, yeah. like when I saw the first time, I was engaged the whole time. Like this is crazy. Like his acting was really good. Mm-hmm. There was all these different scenes. You know, there's a lot of stuff that was like heartbreaking, like him doing all the pulleys and everything and jumping to try and get that rock to yeah. move and he couldn't move it. So like how disheartening would that be? And then... I keep talking about this, but Unbroken, I think, will give you, in a way, my point of view for this movie. Okay. Because it'll show you what I wanted the movie to be, and they are polar opposites of um, two movies that could have been almost the same. Right. So I'm going to give it a 2 out of 10. Just That's because. fine. Yeah, just because. But that'll be crazy if you do that, because it's so good. Oh. And it was, I think, directed by I didn't think Angelina you'd give it a three, Jolie. I didn't think you'd give it a three. Four. Oh, I, if it's directed by Angelina Jolie, I am giving it a two out of ten because I hate, hate her. her. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Those I big think lips. It was, I think it was directed by her. So, that, no, see. So, sto- okay. You kind of just ruined that movie for so me. So, story. Maybe it, was, maybe it was a different movie. <laughs> <laughs> That's unbreakable. It's not M. Night Shyamalan. I just thought he was going to be a better guy. From the beginning. But he was just a normal kind of putz. He's just a normal dude. Yeah, but... He's just going and hiking. But I didn't like him very much. Okay. He wasn't a normal dude who I was like, you seem like you're nice. He was a normal dude where I was like, you're kind of a little bit of a dirtbag, enough to where I hope you fall and trap your arm in between a rock and another rock. You literally, Not that you, bad. <laughs> just, and then he Why only cuts it off was, not to show he about human... Bag? He just seemed like a dirtbag with Why? those ladies and... He, he was just, just play. He was just I having know, fun. He, t- he showed know. him a cool way to go to freaking Blue John or whatever. I know. Oh, why do I hate it so much? <laughs> I can hardly figure it out. And then just because he, he made the didn't... joke of you can have more fun with your clothes off. <laughs> no, that's fine. That's a great line. <laughs> yeah, it is actually. I just thought that it was going to be more about perseverance than I've gone psychotic. I'm chopping my arm off. See, and I guess I feel that. I feel it is about perseverance. Because... I just didn't get the vibe of that okay. from him. Yeah, it makes sense. Because I thought that's what it was going to be. And right. as, as the story progressed, I was like, oh, he's just he's just crazy now. Right. Which is not to say there was no part of him at all that was... Like, Obviously, if he'd had the will this. to live, he would have just died. Right, for sure. Yeah. But I almost wonder if it was more the crazy part of him. Because it kind of seemed like when he got to that point, he was like, okay, you know what? I'm just going to do it. Right. Which is like kind of psycho. So am I a bad person if I rate a factual story low? <laughs> no. Why are you a bad person? <laughs> I'm just going to give it a one. 50 e- no, that's so high. Uh, okay, 149. <laughs> 150 is so high. I just don't, 149, 149 is totally is fine. Just right. I don't know. It's just, I feel so weird about this movie. Okay, talk to me about what you got. Okay. I'm giving, I'm it, a, I'm giving it a 200. Okay. Just because that's me. Um, so, a lot of my story stuff was just like random things. Um on like what they said, like when he's talking to them. I actually thought the scene when he first sees the two people, the two girls, mm-hmm. and he goes and talks to him, how awkward that was. I thought that was done really well because it felt super awkward True. when he's like, I'm only a psychopath on the weekdays. Um, <laughs> and then the 17 on the odometer, and she's like, oh, I thought it was 17.2. And he's like, 17.3 actually. Oh, and she's yeah. like, oh, you're one of those. So maybe that's why he's a dirtbag because... Maybe. He's one of those. Because I hate rock climbers, <laughs> personally. Maybe it's just the bad taste of rock climbers in my mouth. Wow, you don't like rock climbers? I don't... It's not the people who that's their personality. There's something about them. Have you seen... Oh, I don't remember the movie. If I remember it, I'll, I'll let you know. Okay. Um, the... So, this was something cool that when me and my wife watched it this time when we were doing a little bit of the research. So, those recordings from the camera. Mm-hmm. So, he let James Franco watch them. Um, okay. So that he could basically, you know, see what his recordings were. Are they not public? No. Are any of them public? No. Oh, okay. So he let his family watch him, which is mm-hmm. horrible. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. They said they cried the whole time. Well, yeah, why wouldn't you? This is terrible. Yeah. To see somebody just start to go more and more insane. That's crazy. Um, so he let James Franco watch him, um, which I thought was cool. I didn't know about that. When he spills the water is like horrible because yeah. that was basically there's like nothing he left. only has a little bit left yeah. and then he spills it. Um in the he actually lost forty pounds in the whole hundred and twenty seven hours. Did he really? Yeah, because he, I mean, he had no food other than that, like, 40 freaking... 40 pounds? Yeah, he lost 40 pounds. That's crazy. That's all I have to do to lose 40 pounds? I'm <laughs> over here... Get your arm stuck in for 127 hours. Working my butt hours. off. 
I mean, how much of that weight was his arm? That's well, yeah. I mean, probably that's probably a good ten pounds. No way. <laughs> Half of your forearm to your hand has to weigh like four pounds max. Yeah, maybe he's a little beefier. Maybe. Maybe. Beefy boy. <laughs> um, I love the part <laughs> when he does the good morning show. That's true. And he's like, this morning on the boulder. <laughs> yeah, that was funny. <laughs> it's true. Um, what I already talked about, the helicopter was already looking for him. So I thought that was really cool because mm-hmm. he talks about his friend, Brian, or his coworker, if he even, if he, on the day that he knew that he didn't show up for work, if he put in a report right then, then they wouldn't even start looking for him be- until like that, the Wednesday. Um, so it's cool that that basically did happen. I'm yeah. not sure if Brian contacted his family or mm-hmm. what happened with that. Um, I For me, that whole good morning thing is really cool because it kind of shows him as a person. He is a, a freaking hard hero, you know, who thinks he's in invincible and can do whatever he wants and yeah. so he doesn't let anybody know where he's going and this whole thing is his fault i mean yeah, that's true this entire thing is his fault and so when he's like yeah oops that little part me, mm. ugh, me and my wife love that part so i guess for me with the story i see it as what basically what a human being can do to survive what can you do to make sure you stay alive that you live he saw that premonition of his kid mm-hmm. and he wanted that and so, yeah, obviously he was crazy at that moment, but where his like his heart starts beating and everything, and it's like going crazy and three yeah. times as fast, and that's where it's like he sees that premonition after that's happening, and then his heart's going again, and then it's just like, okay, I am doing this, yeah. and then it just goes to town. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> then he breaks his bones. Ugh. That's that's the worst Gnarly. part, actually. The whole scene. I thought he was going to break it with a rock. Well, I mean. He didn't. He, he, he like, like, I mean, he does it, break which it Which I guess is probably a better way, because with the rock, you'd probably shatter it. Yeah. So, yeah. that's fair. That's actually the worst part of the whole thing for me. Yeah. Is the bone breaking part. Yeah. The rest of it, like, not. I'm not super yeah. queasy or anything like that, but. I think another thing about the story that made me angry was yeah. it's a lot of it's what I like read afterwards <laughs> ruined it for me. It's like he said it made him afterwards he felt more invincible during a time that he yeah. should have felt more humble. And I'm yeah. like, you are just a no. Dirt- he's not. Yeah, he's a dirtbag. <laughs> so like, whatever. He had this premonition of his kid. Now his kid probably doesn't even talk to him anymore. Probably not. You know what I mean? It's I like, think he divorced his wife. Yeah. Yeah. After like a year or two. And then he got in a relationship with somebody else and had a kid. And then they just split after yeah. a year. Yeah. Who is this guy? Are I don't know. supposed to be like a good person after bad things happen to you? <laughs> Isn't that how it works? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. But that's also probably a more realistic take. Yeah, I guess so. They I say this stuff is life-changing, but is it actually? Is it really? Yeah. Now he just gets to walk around and act like Captain Hook? Yeah. What a baller. <laughs> See, I don't look at that portion. I just look at the movie. I know. That's what I should be doing. That's what you should be doing. Sorry? Because you need to just look at it as the movie. (laughs) Yeah, well, as the movie, I hated it all. (laughs) (laughs) So your 149 is really high. (laughs) Really high. Oh. Okay. Because the other thing, I guess for me, you kind of, you know, you kind of make it seem like he just did it to to do it. But he still had to get out. I know. And he had to climb a 65-foot cliff to still get out of there yeah. and repel. The other thing I didn't like, yeah. now that you bring that up, I did not like that they didn't show almost any of the struggle afterwards because I read about what he had to do mm-hmm. to get out of there after he'd cut his arm off. Yeah. And I, you didn't really see any of that and you didn't no, see any struggle. No, you see him falling, yeah. you know, and stuff like that. And Have but, you ever repelled? No. Uh, okay, repelling with one hand is actually very difficult. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think I have kind of once. Not, in, not on a mountain yeah. or anything. But yeah. No, I get that it's hard, but I wanted to see because it feels like he chopped his arm off and then everything was fine. Right. So I think it was almost in a way harder afterwards mm-hmm. to kind of get out of there right, from what right. I read. So I would have liked to see that more. Yeah, that makes sense. Because I, I think that would have boosted my score a little bit to see like he had to do this crazy thing mm-hmm. and it's not over. Right. You know, but instead it kind of felt like it was over. Right. Yeah. So that's another little point docker for me. So <laughs> if, if it's shown it, you would have done 150, but without it's 149. Yeah. yeah 151 yeah. probably. Honestly. 150. Dang. Yeah, but they missed out. That's Man, on them. That you could have rounded up to two hundred. If point. they, yeah, probably. If if they have an issue with it, they can contact me at <laughs> reaction time podcast at gmail dot com, or they can message me on any one of our social medias. So and they can like and subscribe. Yeah, and ring the bell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, now okay. a message from our sponsor. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, let's talk about the acting. Okay. 
So, I, I mean, I guess the two girls were fine. I didn't think they were horrible because they are in it for like two minutes. Um, yeah, that's true. But I guess for me, so a lot of the acting was imp- Im- was improv um, that James Franco did. Really? Yeah, a lot of it was. Why? I guess there wasn't footage of every right, right. The camera right, wasn't rolling. Right. Wasn't, that makes sense. And yeah. I also don't know like the recordings if it's like you know word for word, right? Because obviously okay. we haven't seen them. So yeah. those recordings, he could have watched it and taken like the this movie. is him going insane. So this is what I did. I don't yeah. know if there was a little morning show in that or if that was mostly like. God. Him improvising or something like that. But yeah, they let him improvise a lot of it. Okay. Um, I thought his facial expressions while he was cutting him, cutting up his arm and everything, when he's like dead eyes, like blood stripping from his face, when he's trying to freaking cut the nerve. Um, Again, when he's screaming, please, at that moment, I thought it was like super, super good. Um, I really, when when on the mountain bike, when he fell, that wasn't supposed to be in there at the right at the beginning. Oh, really? Yeah, he fell on the bike and then. I just went with it. <laughs> That's funny. I think it's great. Um, I don't, I, it, I, it's his best movie for me, hands down. Oh, yeah. Like, I mean, I haven't seen him in a ton of stuff. But, no, I haven't yeah. either. But Except for what was that really funny movie he was in about killing Kim Jong Un? Uh, the interview. That was. I didn't actually see that. Pretty good. Yeah, honestly. I heard it was funny. Yeah. yeah. What are your thoughts? What I mean, what would you give it? <sighs> 198. Okay. Yeah. I just am so... What's the word? I just feel so meh about this whole movie that yeah. other things that maybe are great just don't feel great because of the movie as a whole. Okay. I will mention one thing I forgot to say yes. about... I don't know where this would fall. Okay. Maybe visuals or something. There's one scene in this movie, one thing that he did that I could feel... Feel. You know how sometimes, like, if you oh, watch yeah, yeah, him yeah, cu- yeah. cutting his arm, you can yeah. you feel it? Yeah. The one thing he did, when he was like, I found this great tourniquet, and he grabbed the, the uh-huh. was it from his camelback? Or yeah, was it was it his camelback, the, yeah. The straw? Yeah. From the it camelback? wasn't the straw, it was the outer of the straw. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. It was the thing that covers the straw. he started straw. wrapping that around, because I know what that feels like to, like, put yeah. something really tight well, and, and you see it. his skin, like, yeah. he's actually doing yeah. it. Yeah, and I was like, And the sound oh. effect of it? Yeah, I was like, oh, I... I can feel it on my arm. So bonus bonus points for that wherever that goes. I'm not going to give it any real bonus points. but It could be acting because he didn't need to do that. Yeah, brownie points. Yeah, one more extra point on acting for that. Yeah, I'll give it one, one extra point. Okay, so one out of 100. The old girlfriend was so middle of the road for me. I know she was a super small part. Yeah. He was like the only big actor in the movie. Yes. Well, I mean, they're, they're, she's she's Fleur Delacour from Harry Potter. I don't know if you knew that. Yeah, no, yeah. I know that. Okay, and yeah, then yeah. there's the other, the girl who plays a sister grown up is in something. Sister Herdo Traveling Pants. Yeah. No, but he was, <laughs> no, he was the wife. only um, main actor. Yes, and, and the biggest actor. Yeah. Yes. And he was good enough for me. It wasn't his fault that the movie sucked. I guess if you take it from his acting, if I go from his acting, I'd give it like. Did you feel like like, one? Did you feel or so. stuff like when he was not performing? Really, really. not really, because it never seemed like he was in pain. That was the biggest thing for me. Was not once did I feel like he was in pain. Really, I feel like every facial expression was this is a major inconvenience for me, and that was it. Not mm. oh my gosh, I'm losing my arm. Right, it was just dang, and that was it. <laughs> so yeah, I I guess maybe now I don't know how accurate that is because. What if the guy is like, yeah, I was just in shock, so I never... Right, well, and they talk about how he... the the They had, like, an interview with him, and he talked about how, basically, his mindset was, what's the next thing I need to overcome? So that was his biggest mind yeah. focus. But I guess, like, for me, when... I guess I felt the pain in more of his words and how he was acting, like, when it first gets stuck, and he's like, he doesn't believe it. It's like, this isn't yeah. happening and stuff like that. Yeah. Like, I felt the pain, like, mm-hmm. oh, my gosh, he's... Coming to the realization that his arm is literally stuck in here yeah. and he can't get out. And then when he like finally makes the little um harness thing, yeah. and he like just slowly like lets down. Yeah. There was like that relief of like, oh I, I do just... think he did a good job. So I'm trying to kind of separate his acting from the movie. Because yeah. I think he did a good job. There were just some things, and maybe it was writing thing, or maybe it was honestly just accurate. But there's also the part where he's like, Yeah, my thumb is looking pretty gray, so probably losing that. No lot of circulation. <laughs> I'm just like you're so not upset by this at all. <laughs> it's just weird to me. But I if, think for him, I don't think that's an acting issue. Well, and the way that I see it is when he, it's like a little bit after it happens, and he kind of like starts to get a little bit angry, and he's like, "Don't lose it. Don't yeah. lose it." Yeah. I think that's what he was doing. He was trying to not come to the realization of exactly what was happening because yeah. he would go insane and he couldn't function. Right. So I'm gonna give James Franco a 193. Okay. And I'm gonna give everything as a whole 180 cool i actually was gonna think
think you were going to say 180. Nice. <laughs> I feel generous with that one, but it is more a writing issue that I have than it is an acting issue with him. Yes. Personally. So I do think he did good. He did really good when he was like going crazy. Mm -hmm. That kind of stuff I, I do think he was good in. Okay. So, yeah. I don't know why I'm having such a hard time with this movie. It's fine. I don't know. You it's can weird. have a hard time with Maybe something. Maybe someday I'll watch it again. Maybe you will. And we'll go back. If we ever watch any of these movies again. And we have a mind change. And we feel like we, we have to... any yeah. difference in opinion or anything. We have to come back and do a, a quick segment. Hey, I did it for Star Wars. You did it for Star Wars and yeah. it was much appreciated. My, yes. My heart feel happy. So. And now you're making it just really good by just destroying my favorite movie. Thank you. Yes, you Thank welcome. you. You're, maybe someday I'll come back and say this scores a 200. <laughs> You just like watch it one more time and you're like, like, oh my gosh, I get it now. Dude, this is exactly totally the same right. as Battle of the Heroes from Star Wars Revenge of the Sith. <laughs> no. <sighs> okay, so let's talk about the score. Okay. Can I just give you my score? Yeah. It's a 40 at best. Okay. I'm sorry. It's okay. Horrible. It's okay. The worst music choice I have ever heard in a movie in my life, and I'm not kidding. Okay. Is that bad? <laughs> Your turn. I didn't even write anything down. I just know that I hated it. I'm very sorry. It's okay. 200? Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah. 200? Okay, so I will tell you why. Okay, fine. So I'm almost going to call BS on you, but that's fine. Whatever. Please do. I will defend it to the day that I die. I'm not allowed to call BS on your opinion, but I still want You can call BS on my opinion. That's fine. <laughs> your opinion's wrong. <laughs> I'll explain myself. <laughs> okay, explain yourself. I'd love to know. So I don't have any issues with all the song choices because I thought they were all great. I love the opening song. Okay. I think it fits perfectly for me. Um, I've never judged a person more than I'm judging hey, you. Can, I'm just joking. I judge you for Star Wars, so. That's true. Everyone does. <laughs> I actually don't judge you for I'm Star Wars. I'm in the Wars. minority. I don't judge you for Star Wars because I think of you as a nice person, so I'm not, you know. Just don't. <laughs> Come on, bro. Let's low blow. So okay. Low. I'm totally kidding. Okay. Um, so I... It's so weird to me that you don't like this, but when he gets stuck and when he cuts his arm off, I think that is insanely stressful, anxiety-inducing, just like so good. I'm going to go back and watch those scenes and try to hone in on it more. And yes, if I change it, I will music. let you know. Yeah, please do. Okay. Um, I love when they, I already talked about it, when they zoom out and you can't hear them anymore. I thought mm -hmm. that was cool. The song that's playing when the temperature's dropping, that like, I thought that was really cool. Okay. Um... The the song that's playing when he can't get the rock to move with the ropes. Um, all of the sound effects in this movie, I think, are fantastic. Um, in terms of the bones cracking, yeah. just the him trying to cut the nerve, just the sound effects of him digging into his yeah, skin gross. and everything like that. And when he first stabs it and everything like that. I hated that. All the sound effects are great. Yeah, the little true. ants crawling around everything. Like, okay, here this is why it's a 200. Okay. Because everything I think is super great. Okay. I think the song that If I Rise is very beautiful. It's a really good song. But the song that plays when he repels down and he's drinking the water and he starts to walk. And it's that doon 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 doon. That song is probably my all time favorite song like in a movie wow okay and i don't know why i can't fully tell you why but it's better I, than heartbreaker in, oh, in nobody 100 percent. wow okay but heartbreaker in nobody is great okay it's the one song that i have from a movie soundtrack saved on like my spotify playlist Interesting. that i actually listen to all the time it's okay. actually like an eight minute song and the first half is this guy like singing with like this weird music and it's terrible so it's justin timberlake <laughs> yeah no, All of his songs are like eight <laughs> to twelve minutes. No, this long is like four minutes of this guy going like, ha, 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 like this weird music, and then it just cuts to this other half what the that heck? has nothing to do with the song. I hate when people do that. Yeah, it's super weird. It's so weird. So I feel like that song just portrays like him enduring and him continuing to keep walking and to keep going and to try and find somebody so he can get out because he's cut off his arm. He's been through all this stuff and now now he still has to, he still has to make it out, right? Yeah. I mean, obviously they didn't show a lot of him making it out, but just that, I don't know, the beat, the music, whatever, mm -hmm. of it just feels like it's him trying to endure. It's okay. him trying to make it. And then the music that plays when the helicopter first comes down is just like this awesome celebration and just really powerful, I guess, for me. Mm -hmm. And so I am a huge music guy, like in terms of, 
feeling emotions with music, right? Yeah. right? And so there are times where I've heard a song and just like this song has given me like, you know, of really crazy emotions, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. And just by like sounds, not even like anybody singing. I don't know if I've ever had like somebody sing and I'm like, oh, this is so beautiful, right. you know? Yeah. Um, but like the music moves me. And so that song really sells the scene for mm, me. Okay. So I could also 100% love this entire movie because I love that song so much. <laughs> Dude, what if what if I show you a version of the movie without the song? And you're like, this is the worst movie this, I've I hate ever everything. seen. This is so dumb. Just make like a low budget version of you doing it yourself without do any that. of the music. And then I'll be like, man, this is really bad. I could make this movie in as much time as they made it. Well, yeah. it's. A, I mean, it's a low budget. They made it in two months. I can make this thing in two days. They made it in two months? Yeah. They filmed, it, they filmed for two months, which is, seems like a lot. <laughs> So you do all of James Franco's scenes one day. It's, they filmed it exactly where it happened. Did they really? Yeah. I was wondering about that. It's Canyonlands. That's kind of cool. Is, is it Utah. the same exact crevice? Yeah, it's filmed at the exact spot. Is that rock the same rock? I don't know. I think the rock is still... They got the arm out. Dang. So why? they had to move the rock. Oh. Probably so people didn't just randomly see some decaying arm, I guess. That feels fair, actually. <laughs> Did but they yeah. give it back to him? No. They it's, asked him if he wanted it, and I oh. think they just burned it because he didn't want it. Dude, don't burn it. I know, put it right? in resin. Right, dude? And put it on your have that shelf. Like your, yeah, have that like your, your centerpiece when people walk into your house. Awesome. This is my arm. This is my arm. <laughs> that I cut off. That would be really cool. That I used to beat my wife with. <laughs> <laughs> oh, why is he like this? Um, All he did, and I'm sure... After this happened, the next day he was like, you know, I had to cut my arm off, but I am going to be so rich from this. <laughs> and that was probably his next thought. It probably was. I don't mean to speak for him, but he seems like that kind of guy. Well, he seem he's he talks about how against he was of the movie. Really? Yeah. He oh. and then but then when he saw it, he was like, Oh yeah, this is mm. fantastic. Um, but I wonder if he was saying that so that it made it seem like he wasn't trying to just make a whole crap ton of money off of it. That makes sense. So I totally get your your music thing. Yeah. Music hits everybody different mm-hmm. depending on what it is. So I get it. I hated it and you loved it and that's fine. That's fine. Do you like nuts and brownies or cookies? Not really. Okay, good. I was just making sure because sometimes <laughs> some people love that. Fun fact, the two original brownie recipes in the universe don't have any nuts. So I want everybody to know that. Brownies do n- are not supposed to have nuts. Do brownies normally have nuts? No, but people put nuts in brownies and act like it's fine. Why? <laughs> People are psychopaths. Yeah, they bro. are. Ugh. Guys, don't put nuts in your desserts unless it is peanuts and it belongs. The end. Yeah. Do nuts really belong in dessert, though? I mean, Rocky Road. Even then, yeah, I don't even love... Then. Yeah. Do like, you okay, but what a... if it's like a peanut cluster, right? Have you ever had a peanut cluster? Yeah, it's like peanuts yeah, yeah. And I chocolate? A, yeah. That's fine. Or something Snickers related. But other than yeah, that... Yeah, but I'm going to bring it up. Does it ever elevate a dessert? Keep your nuts out of your desserts. <laughs> That's the rule. Okay. No, it never elevates. It never elevates it. Ever. It's like celery. Never put celery in anything. Exactly like celery. Nuts are the celery of the nut land. (laughs) T-shirt idea. Uh, Join our Patreon or our subscription thing down below to get uh, 20% off of our hypothetical merch. Yeah. Okay, vibe. We're doing it soon. Yeah. So subscribe just so you can tell Sam how dumb he is about yes. this movie. Yes, call me dumb. Please And do see it. how expensive your t-shirt is. <laughs> 20% off of a $140 t-shirt is still expensive. <laughs> If you call me Sam, dumb. Sam needs to pay for his new air conditioning, so. Yeah, you guys, I have new air conditioning that I have to buy, and it's more than $100. So if you could join the Patreon and subscribe and donate, like, upwards of half a million dollars, that'd be great. Thank that'd you. That'd be okay. awesome. Because it's more than 100 but it's less than 100000 so. Barely. In that- <laughs> <laughs> My life. Um, okay, Craig. I mean, is your vibe anything less than a two hundred? Yeah, no, it's fifty-four. It's two hundred. <laughs> so funny. That was like pretty close to what my number was gonna be. Oh, no. My vibe is. I was gonna say fifty-three. That's actually funny. I have to funny. think about it. Okay. Yeah, fifty-three. Fifty-four. Nope. Do it. Nope. Do it. Nope. Fifty-four. Nope. Just because you love I me. I can't. Fine. Yes. Fifty-two. <laughs> <laughs> 54. I'm giving it an extra point because you like it. Okay. 
Okay. Do you have anything to say about the vibe besides um, everything you've said? No, I think I explained everything. The only stuff yeah. I wrote down on vibe was just like real life stuff, um, which was the cutting took an hour. Oh, I was going to ask this. The people that find him, how do you react to that? Like that was seriously? one thing that I thought actually was pretty decent because they weren't like immediate like, oh, no. let me come help. No. They were, they turned around and they were kind of like, what the heck? They had a guard up. Yeah. Because in real life, that's exactly of how Of course. Yeah, you see some random He's person. like, help me, help me. Yeah. And you, as humans… You should have the immediate reaction to just be like, yes, let's go help. But you your should. first reaction is always what well, is going on. Because some people don't need help. Right. And they're tricking you. But like if I heard somebody yelling for help outside, I'd look out my window first. I wouldn't just sprint outside. Oh, no, no, and no. I'd be like, okay. Do you actually need help? Yeah. So I think that was a fairly well acted, maybe not even well acted scene because they weren't great actors, but it was well written, I think. I think the direction probably yeah. was good where they, yeah. he was like, okay, like don't just rush to help immediately and stuff like that. So yeah, how do, just, you, react how do you react to, react to that? Yeah. She's like, like oh, he, yeah, take my water. Yeah. Obviously. Well, and then, like, I even love that he's, like, he's telling them to call somebody. And yeah. they're, like, our cell phone doesn't work. And he's, like, can you run ahead? Like, because they're yeah. they're probably in more shock than he is yeah, at that point. Yeah, because he's been dealing with it for so long. he's been dealing with it. And they're, like, here is literally somebody who has cut their arm off. Yeah. That'd have been so shocking. That crazy. Ugh. I just I I I don't know what I would do in that situation. Yeah. I don't know how I would handle that. Um. Also. Yes. Shout out to the Utah Jazz. There's that one scene with the Utah Jazz. They're, oh yeah. They're oh at yeah. The basketball yeah. Game. <laughs> I don't care about the they Jazz. They probably lost at that all. game. <laughs> they probably. 2003? Yeah, I don't think they were doing much in 2003. I could be completely wrong. There's going to be some jazz fan who's going to get on there and be like, 2003 was actually the Utah Jazz's best year. (laughs) So-and-so scored a triple quadruple, and he had 59 points, 69 assists, and 79 rebounds. So you can get after it. Nice. There will be somebody who does Oh, yeah, that. of course. The product placement in this was great. By the way, Denver Nuggets is going to win it all. Yeah, product placement was… Right at the beginning, him going, walking McDonald's, through all the Taco, Taco Bell, Bell all everything. That. It was great. Yeah. <laughs> so I basically, the gist of this was I was bored, and then I was let down, okay. and then I was glad it was over. Nice. So I'm, again, I'm sorry. It's okay. You don't need to be sorry. <laughs> Maybe I'll like the next movie. <laughs> Maybe you will. Across the Spider-Verse. Yeah, yeah. Maybe the next like movie, movie you recommend, I'm gonna try my very best to like it. I'll you do everything to, I can. No, you don't need to do that. The whole no, point I don't. Of this the whole point is of this so, is so realistic expectations. Controversy gets more views anyway. Yeah, I hate 120, you. 127 hours. Worst movie ever. Worst movie ever. 127 hours should have done this. <laughs> James Franco sucking MCU canon. <laughs> Airbud, 127 Air hours canon. 127 <laughs> hours, actually the length of this film <laughs> before they cut it down. Oh man. So, anyways, okay. What well, do you think you gave the movie? Out of a thousand. By the way, everybody, if you're listening for the first time, I always forget to mention this because I'm sure every time we have at least one person who's listening for the first time, we rank our movies out of a thousand points <laughs> broken into five categories, each worth 200 points. So if you're wondering why we're giving things 180 points, it's out of 200. So 180 is like a nine out of 10. So what do you think you gave it out of? 992. 992. No, I think you get it higher than Was that. Was it that higher? Oh, 993. 993, dang it. <laughs> yeah, 993. <laughs> okay, um, I gave it some pretty low scores. Yeah. I'm going to say I was probably in the 500s, which might be generous. Yeah. 569. No. I'm going for it. No, I think you're like oh my goodness, 378. No. 526. Kinda, oh, dang. Kind of okay. in the middle-ish. I guess you gave 180. 526. Wait, is that higher than Cloverfield? I give Cloverfield a 419? Yes! It's not your lowest rated movie. No, I hated this movie way more. <laughs> the acting was way better though. <laughs> the acting was, I guess, technically better. And the story. And the, so here's the thing. The story, I can't figure out if I should give it a 200 or like a 6. So that's why I went with a 149. Because I hate the story so much, but it also is like accurate to what actually happened. I hate happened. the story. It's stupid. Guy, douchebag, gets his arm trapped, goes crazy and chops it off and then becomes more of a douche later. You're, t- How you're is reading that a good too much story? You're reading too much into the afterwards. Absolutely I am. Yeah, stop doing that. <laughs> Fine. I'm sticking with the 149, but I'm not happy about it. This is my second lowest ranked movie. Yeah. Just barely, though. Well, the well, Grinch, Grinch got a 573. And then Avatar actually, got a can I, 6. Can I be honest? It actually hurts the, that you, you scored the Grinch higher than this. <laughs> Jim Carrey. 
the only reason. If Jim Carrey was not in that movie, The Grinch would get a four out of a thousand. Imagine that. That's only the acting, though. Why would it change the visuals? And why would it change because the sh- story? Because and- shut up. That's why. <laughs> I guess the vibe and acting would be the only difference. Uh, yeah. Score visuals and story would be no and different. I don't remember like what I gave in categories of those. Because yeah. here's the thing. If this was completely false, like imagine 127 hours is only a movie based off of nothing. Right. This story would be hella low. I would drop it so far. Really? It's terrible. I was so engaged. It's horribly written. <laughs> By real life events. Really? Yeah. How? Because he gets his arm trapped. Yeah. He has no reaction to it. And then five days later, he figures it's the best options to cut it off. <laughs> Why didn't he do that on day two? Why? Because he wasn't crazy yet. And yeah. he didn't have a so premonition cho- to see his, his so son. So he only cut his arm off because he's crazy. So the whole the moral of the son. story is, yeah, his son who he hates, <laughs> I, I'm speculating. Okay. Yeah, that's a little harsh. I know. Sorry. <laughs> if you're listening to this, Aaron Ralston, <laughs> my B. He probably he probably looks up every once in a while. Stuff on 127 yeah, hours. Yeah, somebody make a podcast Your about podcast, it. Your podcast, he's going to destroy you on I Twitter now. I just think he either cut his arm off because of perseverance or he cut it off because he was crazy. And unfortunately, it's because he was crazy, which isn't great. Okay. I feel it's perseverance. Line. Fine. Yeah. Whatever. Why didn't he persevere <laughs> sooner? What do you mean? He wasn't at his Five wits end yet. Days? Yeah. I'd cut my arm off immediately. Why? I don't even like this arm anyway. Why? I want a longer okay. one. You actually are going to cut your arm off? I Hell don't know. No. I haven't decided yet. <laughs> Because he keeps waiting, hoping somebody's gonna come. <sighs> also, that was a horrible scene when he when the dirt moves yeah. from probably the wind, and he like it's starts sad. jumping, and then he rewatches the camera of him doing that, and how sad that is that he's sitting there losing control. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty sad. Whatever. Anyway, do you have any final things no. to say? Are you upset? I'm not upset. It's how fine. mad are you on a scale from one to ten? Three point nine. <laughs> that was a great answer. <laughs> Brownie points. I'm upping my score to a 9 out of 10. Yes. Of that comment. There oh, go. man. I'm not mad. Sam loving 127 hours MCU canon? <laughs> question mark, question mark, question mark. I love how it's just MCU canon I don't, for everything. Yeah. Star Wars canon? Who no, cares about the DC? Who cares about the multiverse, dude? Yeah. Me loving this movie and Air Bud are the two things I care about in the MCU canon. And Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And you, Teletubbies. You did like Air Bud though, right? Do I now like Air Bud? Probably not. Does seven-year-old me like Air Bud? Absolutely. I have to rewatch Air Bud. There's th- several of them. We should have a marathon. Because like, like Mike is still fantastic. Like Mike is great. Yeah. Air Bud, probably not. I have not seen Air Bud I since I was... I Air Bud since, since my since, age oh, was yeah, in the yeah. single digits. Yeah. 100%. Yeah, I haven't either. Maybe I'll watch a breakdown. You should. Somebody like, <laughs> here's a breakdown of Air Bud, soccer star. This is why Air Bud has a 10 out of 10. Airbuds secretly Cosmo from Guardians of the Galaxy? MCU canon? MCU canon explained. <laughs> you guys, I could make the best clickbaity YouTube videos on Earth. I've been on YouTube way too many times. Oh. I know how to get the views. I'm just choosing not to. Okay. Yeah. That's it. Thanks, dude. We should just title all of our things now just super clickbaity, and then we it's should. just a review of the movie. I know. <laughs> Whatever. We're we not got in this for We the got views. two subscribers from our latest short, so. That's what's up. We're up to 38. Just wait till we start posting longs. Boom. Just wait till we start posting videos. We were supposed to do that this time. Yeah. I said longs. I guess I should have said pants. Shorts, pants. Yeah. Capri. It can also be longs. Booty shorts. Bell bottoms. They're short at the beginning and then they get wider. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Shut up. Okay. <laughs> it's not even what a bell bottom is. It doesn't get shorter. Whatever. Um. Any more comments? No. Me neither. Please like and subscribe. Do you recommend the movie? I 100% recommend the movie. Recommend I the movie. think read the Wikipedia page and you'll be far more satisfied than watching the movie. You should watch the cutoff scene because that's really good. Sure. Yeah. If you're weird like that, <laughs> go for it. Or you can just look up videos of surgery online. It's basically the same thing. Yeah. Except for one of them is James Franco. Fully clothed. So is this the reason why you gave it such a low? Because you didn't James see Franco? James Franco's back? It's just not... No, because it's not smooth enough. I didn't want to see it. You'd see his feet. There's one feet back picks. I want to see. You saw his feet. Dude, you got feet pics in this, and you gave it a 3.9. I'm not, I'm not a feet. I'm I don't either, am I? <laughs> not completely. Like, I'm a half feet guy. Half feet, half, half back. How are you half? Ha- just half. <laughs> what do you mean, how am I? This is half, Craig. Half? That's okay. not even a question. So you'd rather have half, half of your time you'd rather see back, and half of your time you'd like to see feet? Yes, correct. Okay. If I can see feet walking on back, it's a good day. <laughs> So whose feet should walk on Natalie Portman's back? (laughs) 
<laughs> ideally her own. It's difficult though. She's not that flexible, okay? I asked. Okay, you guys, before this ends up getting any weirder than it has, oh. please, please, you guys listen. Listen up. If you haven't hit that follow button and you've listened to more than half of one episode, you're breaking my heart. More than James Franco <laughs> broke his arm in this movie. Okay, please, just freaking follow and stuff. Yeah. I'm not going to ask again, but I will every week. <laughs> I'm not going to ask again. This is the last time. I'll ask next week. And look up on look us up on YouTube. Look yeah. us up on Twitter. Look us up on Instagram. Look us up on TikTok. Yeah, we had a famous Twitter person like one of our comments. So Very famous. Go to Twitter, hit follow, yes. and see who it is. Yeah, yeah. Because you If you can find out who it is, comment down below somewhere. Comment on YouTube. On YouTube. Go yeah. to YouTube, find out who did it. Yeah. And then comment we'll on this happy. video. Yep. And then we'll like your comment. Yeah. So, and then you'll get famous. And you guys. Because we have 38 subscribers. Talk, speaking of YouTube, next week, video podcasts are coming because we forgot this week. <laughs> but next week, it's happening. Next week, Spider-Verse. Next week, we're doing Across the Spider-Verse, which apparently is dope. Yeah. And the first one was dope, so. I guess it'll be fun. fine, I guess. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> we'll see. It doesn't have yeah. James Franco in it. Fine. But. It has Phil Lord and Chris Miller, dude. Those guys are I know. legends. Yeah, the best. So. Okay, well. Okay. You're Thanks up. for doing all the stuff. Mm -hmm. I am up. Please join us next week for more radioactive ears actually <laughs> can talk. I only need two igloos. Marcel Evil. <laughs> you really had a real sentence going there for a minute and then it just kind of fell off. Yeah. Not bad. That was pretty good. I'm proud. Marcel Evil. Marcel Evil. Speaking of Marcel Evil, Marcel again, Shell. join Patreon or click the subscribe button uh, down below to pick a tier how you want to subscribe. Mm -hmm. And you'll get 20% off of our Marcel Evil. Oh, yeah. Marcel merch. Evil. You get merch. a Marcel Evil hat. Uh, it's hypothetical right now, but it'll exist. In Fight so me, Jim. Just, you, wait, Fight me, Jim. I'm just a two year old baby. We, we are, are the, the dollar, dollar menu, menu. etc. etc. Thank you, everybody. Okay. All right. And we'll see you next week. Yes. Bye. Bye. Bye.